Nam the Kano must not suffer any harm, or else Nigeria will hear our voice. Igbo Think Tank won federal government. Unzuko Umuna, an Igbo Think Tank group, has called on the federal government to ensure that no harm befalls Nam the Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafran IPOP. Abuba Kamanan Malami, the Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, announced on Tuesday that Kano was picked up in another country on Sunday and extradited to Nigeria. The IPOP leader was subsequently arraigned before a federal high court in Abuja. The court ruled that he had remanded in the custody of the Department of State Services DSS pending the constitution of his trial on July 26th. Reacting in a statement by Joe Odomuko and Uju Agomo, its executive secretary, deputy executive respectively, Unzuko Umona, said it hopes Kano's arrest accords with international law and conventions to which Nigeria is obligated. It asked the federal government to ensure that Kanu is fairly tried and that his security is guaranteed while he remains in custody. It further urged the government to see to the prosecution of any person or group that has issued threats to Kanu's life. We ask the government to ensure that Mazenam the Kanu fundamental rights are secured to the fullest extent possible. It is not worthy that Section 31 of the Nigerian Constitution and Article 4 of the African Charter on Human and People's Rights obligates the federal government to ensure that Nam Kanu does not suffer any bodily harm while in the custody of the state and its agencies. The statement reads, it appears repeating that it is the responsibility of the federal government to secure the bodily integrity and personal dignity of Mazenam de Kano while in its custody. We shall hold Nigerian government and all state actors to account on this obligation under domestic and international laws to the fullest extent possible. Consistent with the present need to guarantee Nam the Kano's fundamental rights. We demand the prosecution of any person or group that has issued threats to kill or inflict bodily harm on Mazen Nam the Kano in the course of his trial. The government must demonstrate that it is not complicit in this repeated threat, especially as the purveyor have never been interrogated, arrested or brought to justice. We note that the trial of Mazin and the Kano has been adjoined to July 26, 2021, and demands that Nigerian government and the judiciary secure his right to fair trial as guaranteed by the Nigerian constitution and under international law, given that Nam the Kano has been profiled as an enemy of the state. The need to ensure a fair and transparent trial becomes more urgent. Any effort to intimidate the judiciary must be discouraged by all stakeholders. The group further called on the federal government to rethink its security and peace building strategies and adopt a more conciliatory approach toward resolving national challenges. Hmm. Everyone is just coming up strong after the arrest of Mazen and the Kano. Well, um, the only thing I will say concerning what has just been taken note of by this um, Igbo group is that, you see, the Southeast, we all know, is is a is is a, is, uh, is is a state that is made up of 
Igbo, Igbo groups. And these Igbo groups, I tell you, 99% of them are IPOP members. And of which 99% of them are Biafrans. So if they are telling you that, look, this man Namdekano must not be harmed or touched, they meant every bit of their statement. And you should not underestimate their decisions. Don't look down on them, oh. Hmm. You see, I used to tell people that what the eye sees when talking, the mouth cannot say it all. Mazinam the Kanu is an icon. It's an icon. I always say it. The people are not happy with his rearrest and they are not comfortable with all that has been happening around him of recent. Namdi Kanu has been the forerunner and the, 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 the helper of this of these people. So how do you expect them to become when their leader, Mazin Namdi Kanu, is being remanded? They will take move. Don't forget that Southeast itself is already suffering a very serious attack which has to do with gunmen. Is it not so? We have not done with that. Nigerian government still went on to go to 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 to, to get them the camera arrested. <laughs> I'm afraid that the federal government are going to see what is more than the gunmen very soon. I'm not saying that it is the IPOP that will come after them. I'm not saying that. But with what they have just done, they will now know that IPOP has some, some branches connected to them. So no matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter your deceitfulness, I tell you that I pop still men that very group that is agitating for Pierre from Freedom. Do you think that going after Nabekano or getting him arrested is going to make him turn his back on Pierre from Freedom? I know that I know that is what their agenda is going to be. You just watch. The, uh, what the first hearing is going to bring to us on the 26th of July. In fact, I cannot wait, wait, wait to, to, to see that day. I can't wait. But there is one thing I always believe. And that is what? And that is the freedom has come at last. You will be surprised. I used to say that Bwari will be asleep when Biafran freedom is going to be declared. He will be asleep. He will not believe it. He will never believe it. He will see that. Everything will appear like a picture to him. Like a picture. And that is what I want. That's what I want. So please, my dear viewers, don't forget to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.